Hello friends, this video on Forests Our Lifeline Part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's talk about the plant variety in a forest. Now it is not just a couple of varieties of plants which are seen in a forest. Huge varieties of plants are found in forest. Starting from bamboos, neem, palash, teak, fig. So all these plants are found in a forest. These are some of the examples. Now just look at their appearance. They look so different from each other. So when you compare uh, uh, say teak wood tree. So I, I'm sure you would have teak is very famous for making furnitures. You would have heard of teak wood furniture and they are very expensive. So they are those wood are obtained from this plant. So if you look at this plant and compare it with this fig tree, what do you see? You know, for fig, you see, it, it's so huge. The crown of the plant, the upper portion of the plant is like spread out. But in this case, it is not that spread out. Again, if you compare it with the bamboo, it, it again looks different. So it doesn't have this kind of a crown as you can see in the other plants. So every plant has got a different shape, but all of these are mostly big trees. You also have smaller trees like ferns, mosses. So mosses are generally found over uh, the surface like stones or rocks and they get covered with this uh, green carpety layer of mosses. Ferns are also not very big. They are not flowering plants. They do not give flowers but you know they have beautiful leaves and yeah, they, they are not very tall again. Maple, oak, Pine. So look at the structure of pine tree. It is again very much different from the other trees. So it has a conical shape. So it, it's very, you know, uh, it, 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 its apex is like a very sharp tip and bottom is having a specific shape. So when you look at the shapes of these different trees, you see that all of them have different structures. Some of them are very much spread out. Some of them are small in size. Some are conical in shape. And also it is not necessary that in every forest, all types of plants will be available. Now that again depends on the climatic con conditions of that particular forest. Because depending upon the geographical location of a forest, the types of trees which will be found there are decided. For example, in there are different types of forests, like there are uh, rainforests, there are deciduous forests, there are temperate forests. You will be studying about them in your uh, geography. So you will get to know that which types of plants are found in which type of forests. So, so that's again a different story. But when you in general talk about forests, you get to see a huge variety of plants in forests, starting from tiny plants to huge tall trees. Now when we talk about the plants in a forest, one very important thing that needs to be discussed are the horizontal layers in a forest. Now as I said, there are so many trees and the variety of trees are also more and the number of trees are also more. So because of that, what happens is this above portion of the plant which is termed as the crown. What is the meaning of crown? Crown is generally uh, the the honor of a king. So wh where do you think a king or a queen puts her or his crown? So on the top of their head, right? So that, that's the place of the crown. So similarly in case of plants, the word crown is used to refer to the above ground branchy part of the plant. So if you look at each of these plants, so this is the crown of this plant. So this thing which you see here, which is above the ground and which gives the uh, top shape of the plant. So that's the crown. For this plant, this is the crown. Again, for this plant, you see the crown is of a different shape. So it, it's like tapered towards the bottom and then it spreads out towards the top. For this plant, again, you see it's like uniformly spread out from bottom to top. So each of these plants on the screen have different shapes of crowns and in a forest as I said you have different varieties of plants. They are of different sizes, different shapes so they all have different shapes of their crowns. Now why are we talking about crowns? Because these crowns when a lot of plants are present together so all these crowns form a layer of the forest and that is known as Canopy. So canopy is the structure formed by collection of individual plant crowns of a plant community. Now if you ever look at a forest from outside, like as I was telling that if you are traveling on the highway and you are crossing uh, by a forest, this is how the forest would look like from outside. So you feel, can you see the land? 
the land is not visible why because it is completely covered with the dense crowns of the trees so only the crowns are visible from here right now when you look at it from inside the forest so let's say you are present inside the forest and you are looking above you are looking towards the sky so this is the kind of view which you will get so you see you are hardly able to see the sky why because a roof has been created by the crowns of the tall trees so all these crowns they have actually formed a layer and that layer is like a roof of the forest and this roof of the forest is termed as the forest canopy so this is important because you know because of this canopy because of this layer uh, you the forest does not receive very intense sunlight so the sunlight reaches through these gaps in between the canopies as you can see here similarly during rainfall also when there is heavy rainfall the rain water doesn't directly fall to the ground so it it falls on the leaves and then from there it drop drips over the branches and that's how it reaches the ground so we will look at the advantages of uh, the formation of canopy but this is how it is so that's why when you look when you see from outside this entire layer which you see the topmost layer or the roof of the forest that is formed by the plant crowns and it is called canopy now canopy is about the topmost layer or the roof but below that also we have under stories under means something which is located below like we talk about multi story buildings what do we mean by that that means many layers of the building when you have multiple floors in a building so that is multi story similarly in a forest under story means those plants which are present below the canopy the smaller plants they form the under stories in forest so these are plant layers growing beneath the forest canopy so canopy is formed by the crowns of big trees which is the roof of the forest so that is like the topmost layer so below that will be the medium sized plants mostly the shrubs and even below that would be the herbs that is grasses or other small plants so all these small plants they are they form the understory of the forests Now these forest under stories receive less intense light when compared to the forest canopy. Now that's very obvious because the canopy is like the crowns of the tallest trees. So obviously they are receiving the sunlight directly. There is nothing in between to block the sunlight. But when it comes to the forest under stories, they are located within. So they are like covered by the forest canopy. So let us say this is the sun. okay and this is the canopy of a forest now do not think it is cloud because i am just roughly drawing the canopy so let's say this is the forest canopy which is nothing but this is like formed by crowns of multiple trees so these are the different trees and they are forming this canopy okay so this canopy is receiving the sunlight directly so obviously it is it the canopy is receiving intense light but when you talk of, uh, talk of the forest under stories that means the plants which are here they are small small plants now how will the sunlight reach them so a lot of sunlight gets blocked by the canopy so less amount of sunlight will be able to reach these smaller plants so that's why the under stories receive less intense light than the forest canopy however these under stories are uh, adapted in a way that they will be able to carry out their life processes with that much amount of sunlight only so uh, for example so even with uh, this even with lesser intense sunlight received these under stories are capable of carrying out photosynthesis photosynthesis is the process by which plants prepare their own food and for photosynthesis sunlight is needed without sunlight they cannot carry out photosynthesis so these under stories are adapted to carry out photosynthesis even in intense light and also the uh, shrubs and the herbs they are they generally remain small or they grow up to a medium size and they are capable of completing their entire life cycle in the shade of the forest canopy 
so that's how they are adapted so basically when you talk about the layers in a forest so when you look at a forest from uh, like from outside so that entire structure of a forest so you see that a forest consists of three horizontal layers mainly three horizontal layers and what are those three layers so the first layer is formed by the tall trees and the crowns of these tall trees form the canopy of the forest the second layer is formed by the shrubs which are the medium sized plants and the third layer is formed by the herbs which are small sized plants and uh, they receive minimum sunlight now you know in certain forests the forest canopy is so dense that hardly any sun rays reach deep inside the forest so some forests are that dense as well thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.